So, uh, welcome to today's stream. I have uh, a lot of usuals in the chat. We got. Uh, I want to give a shout out to uh, Seth and Wonka, who unfortunately can't make it to the stream today, but they were in the chat earlier. So, uh, you know, thank you to them. They'll probably catch up on this stream later on today. But uh, who else do we have in the chat? We have I Love Your Zoos, Spike, George, Cameron, Giovanni. How's everyone doing today? We're going to be uh, working on Roger Williams, but um, this is a little trick that I found usually if uh, the game crashes. Load into a map that doesn't have nearly as much issue. So as an example, like this is one of my test maps I made, which has a little secret. Look at what I made for Estan. I, I, I showed it to him earlier, and but uh, check this out. Hold on, because I wanted to show this off. Eh, look at this. So for his uh, Suyana series, I made him a little Suyana logo. And uh, it's flexi-color, so he can change it to be whatever color variation he wants. So you can have, like, like a blue Suyana logo or something. And, like, in the background, it could be, like, like, a dark blue or something. And, yeah, you can just customize it however he wants. But it's to match his uh, normal um, look at... Or uh, his uh, series. So I think uh, Poison Blade or Pea Blade, as he uh, doesn't like to be called, <laughs> uh, has the map right now. Uh, similarly, if anyone saw it yesterday, I was uh, helping them with Beyond Drew and I made this little guy. So this is Chungus the Alligator. Uh, so he's a cute little mascot. And um, yeah, so this is what I worked on yesterday. And then... Uh, later in the stream, their entire game crashed, but I have, uh, for anyone who was worried about Beyond Drew, if they saw yesterday's stream or whatever, I have helped uh, Drew and Estan out, so that series is going to be fine. They, uh, I think Drew's streaming in an hour, actually. So um, I, I helped him out with that, so that was all cool. So their park is up and running again. That's not an issue, but that's all I wanted to basically say about at least Beyond Wolf. So today, we're, like I said, working on Roger Williams. So we're going to continue where we left off l last time on the barnyard. Uh, we just want to finish up the left side, which doesn't really have any major animals. It has a small chicken coop and a bunny habitat, but that shouldn't take too long, I'd assume. Um, so I just want to do that really quick. And then um, there is a kind of big administration building that I've been putting off, but I think I want to, if I have time, try to get that done as well today. So it might be more of a uh, architecture episode than, I think, a, a barnyard. But I'll have to see, because that'll have to uh, be determined. So like I said, we're going to be trying to load into Roger Williams right now. And then we can go from there. Hello, Get Gaming. Welcome to the stream. Also, uh, Nick, Nick Waite, welcome to the stream, Jay Campbell. A lot of these people be are uh, pulling in, you know, a few minutes later. That's to be expected. Um, and then once I'm actually probably, like, floating around in Planet Zoo and stuff, people are going to be really interested. Uh, so normally I would start out the majority of my streams with a kind of, like, overview of the mods I've been working on uh, over the last few days. And I don't really think it's necessarily that, you know or that necessary to do so this episode since I've only worked on one mod since then and I uploaded it on my channel as a whole uh, walkthrough. And that is thanks to my very first Lion Rider King member, Genevieve, who actually wanted the Wolf Squenon mod. And I don't know if uh, they're going to be here on today's stream, but uh, I want to thank them, of course. And uh, yeah, you know, I got their Wolf Squenon done very quickly. Also, hello, Fallbro. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for uh, the compliment. Keep the good work. Um, so yeah, I hope Genevieve is here because like I was, that was one of the quickest mods I think I've ever like thrown together because they just said it, you know, right there um, or like on the stream. They're like, "Can you do a wolf squinting?" And I'm like, "Yep, sure." So that's good. All right, we are finally loaded into the park. All right, so now I have to set up my streaming prerequisites because. Usually when I'm in Roger Williams on a, like, uh, if you look, I have it usually on my highest settings, but let's try to do, let's do medium settings just so that, you know, 
And then I always play on pause because the animals definitely lag out your game a lot more. And especially when I'm just focusing on, you know, uh, doing whatever. So, yeah. Uh, this is bearable lag, I'd say. It's, you know, my frame rates are a bit iffy. But, like I said, it's because I'm, you know, streaming and stuff. Hi, Nick. I'm late. Nope. Just pretty much in time, Giuseppe. So, uh, we are... Just uh, going to be working on the left side of the barnyard today. So basically left of the cows, uh, which, like I said, it's not too much. It's just kind of one building, two smaller habitats, and then that's really it. <laughs> um, it's That's that, and then um, we are going to be working on the administration building. Maria, hi, you have corona. Oh, that uh, that's unfortunate to hear. I'm sorry about that. Hopefully you're, you and whoever you live with and that sort of thing, you know, is okay. Um, hopefully, you know, you do get better. Because I don't want you to be on a ventilator or anything like that. That gets really bad. Uh, will there be a zoo tour? There will be a zoo tour at the very end. Oh, Beyond Drew is not playing Glenn Zoo. Uh, so once I'm officially done with the series, which, like I said, isn't too much longer, I'd say. I, I would expect probably, um, at the rate we've been going, right, uh, I'm gonna be starting Face of the Rainforest probably next week. Um, so that, though I'm, I think I might take a small break just because I wanted to do the Wetlands Trail really quick. Because I've been putting off the Wetlands Trail for a bit. And I think Face of the Rainforest is a better place to end than just, like, ending on a dud with, like, the Wetlands Trail where I'm just placing down a bunch of lily pads and stuff the entire episode. So I was thinking I wanted to end on Face of the Rainforest, if possible. So I'm going to try to do that. Um, so maybe next Tuesday, Tuesday, I will do the Wetlands Trail. I'll do all of it at once and probably the big backyard and stuff. And that, you know, can just... I'll be done in one one fell swoop, and then we can just work on Face of the Rainforest, and then we will be done with Roger Williams. Because I'm trying to think of what I even need mod-wise, so I need left to do, I have to do the Reeves Munt Jack, which I'll probably use the Impala uh, over on the Wetlands Trail. And then past that, I want to do a Howler Monkey mod, a Sloth mod, and a Tamandua mod. And then green anaconda. I'm going to try to do that as well. So, well, and then I already did the Chilean flamingo. Because that was going to be, I just kind of threw that together just because I was like, oh, what? I needed uh, flamingos for my aquatic park anyway. So I was like, yeah, let's just do that quick. Uh, let's see. So are you adding cows? No. So unfortunately, there aren't any cows in the actual zoo. Um, anymore, at least. They used to have them back in the day. We used to have uh, some kind of like uh, cross between like a Highland cow and something else, but they got rid of those. So, uh, will you make a Fusa mod? I may. Uh, I'll have to see about that, uh, how I'm feeling. But uh, currently, I don't have plans to make a Fusa. But I, I, I might. That sounds like something that I might be interested in doing for uh, wild card. Like that might be like the next. Now that I've made the main wolf, like the next voting uh, thing that I do. So let me look. So this is the thing that like lagged out our game last time I was streaming, loading in this tractor. There we go. Okay, that's better. Because I wanted a place in that tractor. Uh, so tractors a bit big for what I was hoping, but I don't want to make my own tractor. <laughs> so, hmm, I'll have to see. Uh, let's see. Uh, I believe that's German. I don't speak German, though. Um, my favorite snake. My favorite snake is my snake. He's me, and he's a python. What is he like? A bald python? A ball? Did I say bald? A ball python? <laughs> he's a bald python. All pythons are bald. They don't have fur. 
Uh, so let's see. Yep, first the raccoon, now Corona. Yeah, this 2021 has not been nice. So, yeah. Um, though, whatever that German thing is out wrote, that does sound like... Is that that... Uh, I don't know. I think they're German. Uh, mod, or, uh, like, a uh, YouTuber that, like, reviews mods and stuff. Because I know they've been reviewing a lot of my mods lately. Um, and unfortunately, I, I was saying I don't speak a lick of German. So, like, as much as I appreciate them, like, showing off my mods and stuff, I don't speak German, so I don't know anything about that. Thanks for the wolf monkey. Now I can make a pygmy hippo habitat. Yeah, yeah, I, I was like... I didn't know what a wolf's Gwenon was until, like, I looked it up, and then I'm like, oh, yeah, Bronx Zoo used to have them back in the day, because they used to have them in their Congo exhibit. Um, but, yeah, let me let me just modify this so that it's accurate to the... Because this is pretty close. I mean, it's it's big. Like I said, that's kind of the, the big issue with it. But um, this is definitely close to the tractor. Uh, there's just a couple of little things I want to change about it, if I can. So, the big thing is it's orange. So, I have to modify the color. Um, which, uh, might be a pain. And I'm not even going to include this in the time-lapse portion of the actual episode. Um, just because I think this would just be <laughs> very tedious to, like, show off in the time-lapse. Like, whoa, look, he's recoloring a bunch of stuff he found off the workshop. Cool. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to quickly do this, so. Oh, wait, never mind, because he used a bunch of different pieces, didn't he? Oh, that sucks. Um. Alright, well, let's just... That's unfortunate. This, this is a, an issue that Planetazoo needs to fix. It, like, if you're going to recolor something, there should be a thing where even if it's different objects, you can just recolor them all without issue. Because this is just a pain otherwise. Because, yeah, like, oh, look, I have to go in and manually select every individual thing. And I don't even know if I like this orange. I don't. <laughs> so <laughs> this is kind of the issue so let's see like in the light because it is kind of a reddish orange yeah it's kind of like a, this orange maybe even a little bit more red something like that yeah that's about right And then we go in and we select everything. Yay. Because I'm thinking I could probably get away with, like, the majority of this staying red. Because it, it is close to the color, it's just not quite there. So if I can, I'm going to try to do kind of the bare minimum. Just that, you know, I'm not just clogging the stream up with recoloring a tractor. So don't select that. Select this. Choose that. Um, I also feel like this person used a lot more pieces than they needed to. Like that. Like, is this necessary? Like all this like weird, primitive stuff. I mean, it's a very nice looking tractor. I'm just wondering if like they probably could have optimized it better. Then again, I'm saying that my cow definitely could have been optimized, and I still, you know, probably will go back and do that at some point, just because I definitely could have used some primitive stuff instead. What's everyone saying? What do we got? Have you ever been to Southwick's? Of course I have. I've been to Southwick's many times. Um, Southwick's used to be my favorite zoo. Roger Williams kind of took the cake, but back when Southwick's had elephants, that was easily my favorite zoo in New England. Um, because elephants are my favorite animal, even if, you know, everyone knows me for lions. Which, lions are my second favorite animal, but, uh, elephants are my number one. Specifically African. And, uh, but speaking of, because Southwick's back when they had elephants, had African and Asian elephants. They had them in one habitat.
what do we got? What do we got? Um, the name of my zoo is Gangro Zoo, and I have uh, I have to go learn by love your content. Thank you, Fall Fall Bro. Thank you very much. Also, hello Sawdust. Sorry, I didn't catch you earlier. I'm just catching up with the chat now. Um. My zoo is called Free Paws Sanctuary. You should pitch this idea to Frontier. They might make an actual farm DLC. Um, unfortunately, I don't think that would be the case unless the community really demanded it. Because Frontier seems to, even though they won't outright say it, have all of their uh, content planned. Um... Like, they, they've never officially, you know, come out and said, hey, by the way, we have a plan for all the DLCs and stuff in the future. But from what I can tell, the fact that they already had, like, the Sun Bear, as an example, like, in the works, even before the Aquatic Pack came out, seems to definitely kind of confirm our suspicions that they had all of our DLCs planned from the get-go. So that's why I would assume if they were to do a farm DLC... We're going to get the farm DLC regardless of what, you know, um, people want. Like, even if people say, like, oh, we'd really appreciate a farm DLC, I guess that it was just in the plan from the beginning. Oh, I have a little lag spike. They have llamas, but no other animals. Yeah, like, I don't know if they would actually add any farm animals for that reason. Just because I think if, say, we got a farm DLC, would people genuinely be happy with that? Because I think, even though people like petting zoos and stuff, I think if we had to wait four months and then all we got out of it was some goats and pigs and sheep or whatever, I think people would be very upset by that. And so that's why I would be a little bit concerned about that. If we got, like, you know, DLCs, like, EA level, like The Sims, where we get them frequently, um, the, like, yeah, then I, then I would assume that that would be a more reasonable request. But right now, it's a bit iffy. Oh, these are primitives. I didn't realize that. I had no idea these were primitives. What is your favorite animal at Roger Williams? The elephants. So, uh, Kate, Jenny, and Alice. Definitely my favorites. Um, I'm going to try to make the Bronx Zoo and Planet Zoo. Good luck with that. I've been looking for people to try. Like, I want other big creators um, to help me because I wanted to do a Bronx Zoo um, recreation. However, I just realistically um, thought that that would just not be a very good idea just because of how um, tedious it would be. Like, it would just be extremely tedious. And um, I live in Rhode Island, so I don't live in New York. So getting to the Bronx, especially during coronavirus, for uh, reference photos of specific areas and stuff, I can get away with a lot by, you know, uh, memory. And I have my own photos from, like, when I used to go to the zoo uh, kind of frequently. We used to go yearly um, to the uh, to New York. And so, you know, it's not a terrible, like, you know, idea for a series. I would just want, you know, anyone who is a native New Yorker or um, even Jersey or something, like a surrounding area near the park uh, to help me with the project. And I know Croco, one of the people that's on my... Um, server and has been in a few videos he lives in jersey and so he goes to the bronx zoo often and he's actually going this week i believe but he's not the greatest builder and so like he he said like he would help as like an advisor on the series but like he himself wouldn't be able to help me but yeah i'm looking for like anyone who's like a bigger uh planet zoo creator and they don't have to be massive or anything but just someone who, like, you know, has some, like, reputable build building skills and stuff to help me out with that series. Just because it, it, it would be essentially the um, realistic zoo recreation koali. Because it would just have to be such a big project to, like, undertake. And um, 
The issue I've just found is of the accurate zoo creators like Just Goron and um, uh, people like him and stuff. There uh, are Crocs is another one. He's recreating the Alberg Zoo in uh, Denmark. Um, of those people, they're all in Europe. So I really would doubt they would have much experience with the Bronx Zoo specifically. And so that's why I would just be, you know, kind of, again, carrying the weight of that. And it's just a massive project. And so I would just kind of be a little bit, you know, iffy about that. But I would absolutely love to do a Bronx Zoo series if possible. Um... But something like Southwick's or something in Mass is a much more realistic creation for me. Totter, uh, what do you need help with? Oh, I would just be talking about um, if I were to do a Bronx Zoo recreation. Um, you know, if people would, A, like to see that, which I'm sure a lot of people would, would love to see that. But, you know, I'm not sure if... Like, I could get the help necessary to make it a reality, is the only thing. So, let's see here. This is the plus of, like, me, like, marking out all of my things very early on. Um, with this is I can just literally just replace the walls as I need to. <laughs> so, I, like, mark them out with, uh, some very basic, like, um, bamboo before. But I'm able to literally just go in and then just be like, nope, now I need stained wood. Um, though, one issue I'm having with the stained wood in particular has been just getting it to um, be oriented correctly. Since when I did this originally, I was just tracing it from a top-down view and not really concerning myself with height. So the height of the woods are a little bit off. But past that, you know, little, like, you know, hurdle, it's been pretty easy to just, like, you know, be like, oh, I just want a wooden fence here. And I just do this, and then I do this, and then we're good. So let's move this one into place now. If we just do this... And then we have to do the same here. All right. And there we go. And then I think there is a wall a little bit um, over here, but it's not as prominent. So give me a sec. So we want to maybe stretch it like this and then lower it just a hair to line it up. There we go. And so I think this is wall, but that area isn't. Because I think actually there is another building over here, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, there is. I'm looking at a reference photo right now. So yeah, there is like a little uh, building on the side that says farm stand. And so we will move this into place. So what we're building right here actually used to be the old Humboldt penguin enclosure. Let me catch up with the chat. Hold on. Uh... I go there at least once a month. I can basically walk around with my eyes closed. I'm trying to build Southwicks. It's hard. <laughs> yeah, that's the other thing. Well, that's weird. I click the stream and literally hear my name the first thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, hello, Crocs. Because, yeah, I was talking about how I'd love to do a collab series with other um, big realistic creators. The issue just comes down to the fact that most realistic creators like you and uh, Just Goron and stuff obviously aren't American. So you guys don't really know much about American zoos and stuff other than like, you know, what you've seen in like, I don't know, like if you've seen the zoo series on Animal Planet or like you might know a little bit about the Bronx Zoo, but you wouldn't get that full, you know, idea of what it 
is like exactly like to to accurately recreate it just from those clips or whatever that you might see online all right let's see i have a question would you recommend going to roger williams park zoo i would absolutely recommend it if you're in new england if you're in new england obviously you know easily best zoo in new england um but if you are going to like like let's say you were from Tennessee or something, it is not worth going out of your way to go to Roger Williams Park Zoo. There are far better zoos, you know, if you're gonna go on a vacation or something. Um but if if you're definitely local or something, yes, you should definitely come here because it's it's just a nice zoo. That's just the like best way to put it, is it's it's a very nice, smaller zoo. So, let's see. So, there is a building here. Uh, right next to... There's a chicken coop here. But there is a little building right here that we need to create. So, hmm, what, do, what kind of wall do I want? Because this has horizontal patterning for the actual wood. But I'm gonna need a flexi color material. So flexi color. Um, hmm. Cause I don't know if I want to use stained wood. Temple wouldn't work. Plaster wouldn't work. I need s the corrugated iron would work if it was ho like. We really don't have any flexi color horizontal pieces, do we? That is a really unfortunate. It, like, I don't know, it's, it's a thing for me where, like, I get really disappointed if I have to, like, kind of go off uh, the realism track when I'm, whenever I'm, like, recreating something. Like, if it's, like, just... And especially if it's just something really dumb, like what I'm doing right now, where it's, like, oh, yeah, it's... You have to go not realistic because you don't have the wood type. And I, like, realistically, I know it's not even worth, you know, oh, because I could manually go in and, you know, try to recreate this building using individual wooden planks or something. But I, I don't think that's necessarily worth it either. So I think for now, we're just going to deal with this. Um, so let's see. Maybe. Hmm. I think I only want this. And I can probably place those things back that I've deleted before. Um, or actually, hold on. It's because I want to... There's like a deck area in the front that I want to use... <sighs> See, there's a type of wood I want to use, but I can't because it's a mod, and that it would look it would look gross if I used it um, for what I want to do with it. But let's do this for now. And then there's kind of an overhang. I don't know what the roof is made out of, but this looks about right. Let me place down a door for rep for scale. I do not recommend Detroit Zoo. Uh, my buddy Raptor Jesus uh, lives in uh, uh, Michigan. And uh, he, he likes the Detroit Zoo a lot. Um, and it, it looks pretty good. Like, I think, you know, for all Detroit is, you know, known for and stuff, as far as crime and stuff, the actual zoo itself looks pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. Um, he said it used to be better before they had, when they had elephants, which, you know, that's always the case with most zoos. <laughs> um, but, you know, I, di I didn't think it was that bad. All right, I need a nice door. Hmm, I'm trying to think of like, 
We don't have any nice, like, classic glass doors, do we? Um, yeah, not really. Like, all the classic doors are just massive, and, like, they're not... Like, I just want, like, a little simple, normal door. And then all the, the Planet Zoo doors are, like, you know, this, where they're, like, a modern look. Hmm. Like, I'm just not really liking any of these. They're not really what I need. Like, something like this is sort of close, but... Uh... Maybe this one I could work with. It's a flexi collar. Uh, I can work with this. I'm not a fan of it because it's kind of ugly looking, but I can work with it at least. Because I'm going to need some work. Leaf. <laughs> but you don't need to throw these beautiful things on the thumbnails I come to the stream regardless. Yes, I did throw a miniature donkey mod on the uh, the um, thumbnail. So that's a little tease. It's a work in progress, but uh, I'm actually working... I'm using... Um, there was an existing mod on Nexus for a Somali Wild... I probably can't say it without demonetization, but, you know, uh, donkey. <laughs> um, and, and yeah, and that's like a whole thing. Uh, so I, I, I was using that as a base and then uh, just made it more of a, a standard donkey texture and stuff and made the main and stuff shorter and stuff like that. Again, it's work in progress. So... This is Nick works too hard on a little detail that no one cares about, but you know, I'm going to do it anyway, because that's, that's me. That's my channel. So I'm going to make a custom door here. So let's do this and then move it over to cover the rest of the door. Kind of makes me wonder if I'm even wasting my time, you know, using one of their base doors. If I'm just going to make a custom door anyway. But, you know, we're, we're going to work with it. So if I do this and then I do this. And then I could probably just raise these up like so. Not crazy about the texture on the door. I think I might change that. Or the texture on the wood I'm using. Because the, the wood's kind of ugly. Oh, that ain't good. I didn't mean to do that. Let's do this. That looks pretty good. Okay. Yeah, do I like the wood? It's just not giving me the vibe I want. I want, like, a nice clean door. It's, I don't know, what does the East Asian wood look like? I think the East Asian wood might be the way to go. Yeah, the pattern's just a lot less rustic looking, which just looks a lot better. It's also a lot smaller, so it works a lot better for getting small details in. So let me know if, uh, when I'm done with this, if anyone wants me to put this uh, door on the workshop. <laughs> uh, let's see. We'll do this, do this, and then I 
I guess I'll use brackets, because brackets are just a safe bet whenever you need very tiny details. And that's sort of what I need right now. Because I just need little tiny details to make a, a nice ornate door. I also don't know why my gizmo is messed up, but we're just going to go with it. need to rotate it a bit, rotate it like so, and then we're good. If I just do this now, we should be good to go. There! Just a stupid little detail that no one's going to even notice, but whatever. And then that's, there's our door handle. Cool. Alright, well, door's in place now. So now I can go back to doing what I was doing before with the... Uh, it wasn't metal clad, what was it that I was using before? It was like wood or something. Vertical wood paneling, yeah. that, then we're good, and then I can make it white, and then I need some wooden beams. So for this one, I can now use the plant zoo wood. I have no issue doing that. Um, these woods. These woods. That'll look nice. Lion Rider, yo, no emoji. Yeah, every time I get a member, I get a new emoji slot. So I thought, hey, I should probably put in the actual Lion Rider like logo. Um, but I do have a bunch of more, a bunch of a bunch of more, a bunch of other emojis I wanted to add. Um, so the more members I get to my channel, the more emojis everyone can play with. So that is a member I should mention. Which, what's going to be funny, too, is, like I said, very shortly, we could be seeing people like Andy and stuff um, swapping over to the coveted uh, Bronze Lion. Because they've been a sub for over a month, or a member for over a month. So, that should be fun. Alright, let's see. So now I need to make a pitched roof for this sustained wood we can use how tall of a roof maybe maybe this I don't think it needs to be super tall and then the uh, wood whatever the vertical wood We'll just plop that into place, but not that one. We need this one. And then we'll be good. But then we also need some, what's it called? Oh, what is this color? Give me a sec. Grab this color. Because even though the bottom is uh, white, the top is black, so we're just going to drop that in. It looks like an Oreo. Just a one-sided Oreo. <laughs> and then there we go. Alright. So... I'm also going to do this, and this is probably going to mess up my door, but whatever. 
sure is. <laughs> Oh, is this all part of a blueprint? Well, in that case, I could just slide it in. Sweet. Let's do that. Sweet. All right, that's all set now. So now I can actually start working on the actual uh, beams and stuff that go alongside the roof of this building. Speaking of Croco, hello Croco. We were talking about you earlier about the Bronx Zoo. We're talking smack. <sighs> Nothing ever works. There we go. I was like, I just want you to move over organically. <laughs> without needing to have any issues. And then there we go. All right. Because we are just framing this building so that it looks all nice. If you want to wanna make any build look better, just frame it. Just make it so that it has some sort of trim. And that goes for any building game, be it Minecraft, Planet Zoo, etc. And then obviously look at reference photos, because most actual buildings have trims. And I know this is not even. I'm going to fix it in a second, because I know people are going to be like, what are you doing? Are you making bunnies and chickens? Uh, probably not, uh, Sawdust. I just, realistically, I'd have to make a whole chicken or bunny model, and I just don't think that's really worth it for me. Um... Because I'm already going to be doing stuff like the sloth and stuff uh, very shortly. And I, I don't know. I, I don't want to get burnt just doing stupid little animals and stuff. Um, when I could just be working on much larger creatures. That can be used as actual mods and stuff and not just props. Sloth replaces what? That is going to be a prop mod. I'm not even going to uh, attempt to make it a animal because there's just nothing remotely close to a sloth. It would just be some sort of deformed monkey or red panda, and that's just not worth it because A, it wouldn't go upside down, and B, just it would just look horrible. <laughs> so I'm not even going to entertain the idea of making it an animal. It's just going to be a prop mod. And I think that's just for the best. <laughs> now, I might at, at minimum make it using the mecha roo so that it'll, it'll, it'll at least like move around and stuff, but or uh, move its neck and stuff a little bit, but I don't want to like really go crazy with it or anything. All right. So. I do this now. Oh, not that. I want to angle it so that it is in line with the roof angle. go uh what's up franklin park zoo just needs a complete makeover yeah um dill is kind of my local new england zoo expert and like what he said the issue with franklin park is is i guess the city of boston like just gave it up to zoo new england uh who are the um owners of the stone zoo and while stone is an amazing zoo it's uh, Franklin Park is a massive zoo with a lot of large animals like giraffes and lions and gorillas and stuff. And so I guess they just couldn't handle it or whatever. So while Stone still operates perfectly fine, like 
Um, Franklin Park is kind of a mess. Um, I love the uh, the Fasano Zoo in Italy. It's very famous. Never been to it. I've only been to the Bio Parco when I went to Rome. Um, there is also a small... I don't even know if you call it a zoo. Um, but there was a small park in uh, Stressa where I was over by the Swiss border. Um, and it was kind of like just a, a little park. But they had like uh, deer and zebras and kangaroos and stuff. And I almost went there because they were like right next to my hotel. But um, I didn't actually end up going. And I'm kind of regretting it because I'm probably... I would doubt I'll ever be back in Stressa specifically. I could, I could, I'll imagine I'll probably go back to Rome at some point in my life, but I don't know about Stressa specifically. But like I said, it was just a small little park anyway, with like a zebra and stuff. So it's not like I was missing much to begin with. Um, there we go. All right, that looks good. Um, chicken would have worked with the peahens probably not i i really doubt it because it's just uh peahens and peafowl like first off worst rig to work with <laughs> um it's why i'm dreading recreating the african crown crane mod easily was the biggest pain to ever ever you know be made so i am not looking forward to recreating that mod but i eventually will um, so let's see. Those are about the right height, I'd say. So, speaking of chickens, we're going to do the little chicken coop now. So, this whole area back here is just sand. And then this area over here in this area is technically... Um, give me a sec. I just want to smooth this area out before I go and add this path back. Yeah, there we go. All right, so uh, we'll do the chickens first, I suppose, because the chickens are right here anyway. So chicken coop is made out of wood. Ever heard of this project about making a zoo and uh, that gives an optical illusion for the animals that the humans are on, the ones in the cages? Uh, I've seen a lot of proposals like that. I know Denmark had a whole like inverse zoo idea that was kind of weird. I don't know how they were going to realistically pull it off. <laughs> um, but yeah, like the whole idea was like, it almost looked like Jurassic World where like, you know, the people are in bubbles with mirrors on them and stuff and or I guess in that proposal, they weren't even in uh, cages, really. They were just kind of... Oh, never mind. Hold on. So, sorry. I'm, I'm messing up where the... Well, this is going to be a small chicken coop. Not going to lie. <laughs> At least on this side, the actual chicken coop is back here. So it's actually over here. <laughs> and then they have another wall. Now, like I said, I don't really care. I'm just using this for the texture of the fencing. But um, that is that. And then let me just move this over a hair. And now, now that's good. So, I could probably just move this into place. Um, the real question is, do I want to move those back a little bit? Questionably might. Um, yeah, I think I will. Just so that the barrier lines up with the fencing. 
And like I said, these uh, these chickens are gonna be props, so it doesn't matter if they literally have like one meter to move around in. Fake chickens can't afford, you know, things. I don't remember anything about buttonwood except the seals. Yeah, that's sort of what I've heard too about buttonwood is, and even what I've seen, like, because even though I've lived in, like I said, New England my entire life, the only zoos I've been to are Roger Williams and Southwick's, just because every other zoo around here just didn't look appealing to me, other than Franklin Park. I'll say Franklin Park, as a kid, did sort of have some appeal to me, but uh, the other thing about... The, the reason I never went to Franklin Park as a kid, specifically, is A, it's in Boston, which, you know, driving to Boston is kind of a pain, um, and then they don't have elephants. Oh, well, I could take the train, but not as a child. <laughs> um, like, as an adult, yeah. Like, now going to Franklin Park, you know, Corona aside, does sound kind of appealing. Because, like, okay, you know, they have gorillas and, you know, pygmy hippos and a bunch of cool animals and stuff. But... You know, as a kid, like, it was just like, oh, they don't have elephants. I'll, I'd just rather go to Southwick's and Roger Williams. And Buttonwood, even though they have elephants, um, is just elephants and otters and a seal. Like, it's basically like Roger Williams, but stripped down to, like, the most bare-bones version of Roger Williams. To, to the point where it's like, okay, well, wouldn't you just rather go there? <laughs> um, and yeah. I'm a sucker for rainforest and how they did theirs. Yeah, um, if you really like uh, rainforest houses and stuff, I totally understand that. Because definitely there's a lot of zoos around here that like have kind of really cool rainforest houses. And uh, Roger Williams is lacking. Um, even... Even with Face of the Rainforest, I still think, you know, we're still behind where we probably should be. If we're going to try to be, you know, like, oh, yeah, you go, you come here for the Rainforest House, right? It's like, no, because we still don't have anything that is super spectacular. We have giant otters, which is cool, but, like, I we have normal otters anyway. So if the appeal was, oh, I'm coming to your zoo because you have otters then it's a lot less appealing. And I, I've always said this, like, when it comes to the average zoo-goer, they're going to come for the ABC animals. A lot of the, like, uh, zoo um, specialist fans and stuff, like like people like Dill and Croco and stuff that I know, they go for rare stuff. Um, you know, oh, the, the Southwick's is the only holder of Vacuna. Oh, well, that's the reason you go to Southwix. I go to Southwix because they have lions and tigers. Like, and that's just the majority of, you know, logic when it comes to most zoos. Because as an example, like, um, Babarusa. Very rare. Julie could give two craps about them. Um, but she'll still go to Roger Williams because she likes looking at the elephants. She likes looking at the um, red pandas. She's a normie. <laughs> like... <laughs> Um, but like I said, that's your average zoo goer, so you have to kind of cater to them a lot. Hey, Lion Rider, you should, uh, visit the Greenville Zoo. It's a really nice zoo. It has an orangutan and armor leopard, ha uh, armor leopard habitat near the front. Uh, and there's a Rhea and giant ant eater habitat. Where is Greenville? Because, put, put it this way, I, I'm open to going to zoos depending on where they are. Um, cause unfortunately the, the biggest, you know, deciding factor of why I wouldn't go to any given zoo usually just comes down to location. Cause I don't even see me kind of visiting North Carolina. Yeah. See, like that's the issue is I don't know if I would actually go to North Carolina for any reason. And that's kind of the deciding factor for me. Because, like, big zoos that are on my, like, you know, bucket list at this point. Miami. All of Ohio. Columbus, Cleveland. You know, the whole shebang. Cincinnati. All, all the big ones in Ohio. Um, and then... 
San Diego, obviously, you know, I've never been to San Diego. Everyone says it's not, it's completely overrated that I've talked to, but I still would like to go to uh, San Diego at some point. Um, let me think. We've been meeting to go to the National Zoo again, because even though I've been to the National Zoo a few times, I wanted to take Julie, because she's never been. What now? Uh, taking you to the National Zoo. Well, we were supposed to. Yeah, we were supposed to go before coronavirus, but then, you know, coronavirus. <laughs> yep, because we were going to go visit my buddy who lives over in uh, Maryland. And usually, whenever I go to Maryland, we stop in D.C. anyway. Um, just because, you know, DC, you know, you have the Smithsonian and et cetera, et cetera. That's appealing. San Diego is cool, but I want to go to the Smithsonian. Didn't you no, I'm reading the comments because yes, I, I've been to the Smithsonian two times. It is my favorite of the zoos I've been to. It is my favorite. But like I said, I've only been to eight zoos and aquariums total. I've been to the Beale Parco, the Southwix Roger Williams, Bronx Zoo, National Zoo, Animal Kingdom, Mystic Aquarium, and uh, Na uh, New England Aquarium. But like I said, hopefully I can go to at least places like Franklin Park and stuff. Um, just because I feel like, you know, if I, if I live in New England, I should at least go to, like, zoos in New England. Best zoo in the world is Berlin. Europe has a lot of cool zoos that I've seen. Um, Paradisa is also up there on my list of, you know, bucket list zoos. I don't think I'll ever, ever go to that part of Europe for any particular reason. So that's kind of a... You know, definite, like, little, like, eh, I don't know, you know, if that'll ever come true. But, um, I don't know, who knows? Let's see. Uh, do you have a Twitch, Nick? I do have a Twitch, and I was using it for a while. Um... I actually got affiliate. It was funny because I got affiliate the same day um, I switched over to YouTube streaming. Like, I got affiliate and then I'm like, well, everyone wants me on YouTube, so I guess bye, Twitch. So I, I'm sitting on a Twitch account with affiliate right now that I'm just never probably going to use. Just because from what I have found, and this seems to be backed up by the actual numbers... Um, no one actually watches Planet Zoo on Twitch. Like, right now I have 25 concurrent viewers, right? Um, that's a, a reasonable audience. On Twitch, I was getting, even on big stream days and stuff, uh, at a decent time, one viewer, <laughs> to, like, to, like, like, the entire time. It was usually Philly Sports. He would be the only one that was there with me. Um, and switching to YouTube is obviously been like, I have a very active chat right now. And so this has been a nice, you know, kind of, I I've been enjoying YouTube a lot more, put it that way. And so I, I can't imagine I will be switching back to Twitch anytime soon. Oh, okay. So I really like these windows <laughs> at first, like. I was complaining earlier about how, oh my god, they don't have any doors that I need. But they have the windows I need just fine. Uh, do they have the wall lights I need? Yes, they do. They have the exact wall light I need. <laughs> the standard, classic wall light. Um, Alright. What else do we need to do? So, over here, in this area, let's add some mulch. You should visit Sicily. I'd love to visit. It is the only area of Italy I haven't visited. I've visited... And, and it's funny, because I am Sicilian myself. So, you would have thought that, like... The, like, you know, the area I would have gone to when I went to Italy would have been Sicily, but... 
no. That is the only area of Italy I haven't visited. I've been to Venice, Florence, Rome, Naples, Sorrento, Capri, Pompeii, uh, Pisa, Stressa, everywhere except Sicily. <laughs> Milan, like... <laughs> Um, but Palermo, uh, Palermo is a beautiful area, so. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll go to Sicily someday. Though I will say there's a lot of, like, a lot of the big touristy cities in, um... Italy in particular, like Venice, kind of overrated. Uh, I like Florence. Florence is pretty nice. The actual city is kind of messy, but like it's really nice. Like you know, I, I like the 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 rooftops because it, it kind of looks like Game of Thrones or like Attack on Titan because they're all like terracotta roofs. Um, ooh, does anyone have a mailbox? We are only Sicilian guys in the stream. <laughs> I don't know why, see, I, why am I even asking if there's a mailbox? Of course there's not a mailbox. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna check to see if, um, give me a sec. We're gonna check on the workshop to see if there's a mailbox. I have a, I, I doubt there is, but maybe someone will surprise me. Dutch mailbox. No. All right. Well, looks like we're making a mailbox. Julie, thank you for the $5 donation. I appreciate you, honey. <laughs> All right. So uh, there's no mailbox on the workshop, so we have to make one. So let's, let's put our construction hats on. We're making a mailbox, everyone. Luckily, mailboxes shouldn't be too difficult. He says as he struggles to make a mailbox. All right. So we will do this. Sawdust, thank you for becoming a member. I appreciate it very much. Welcome to the Lion Riders. You have a little lion next to your name now, and you can check out all your cool new emotes. Obviously, you're getting this shout out right now, so, you know, that's another perk. And, uh, yeah, and then you can get to vote on uh, what I create next as far as uh, mods go. Uh, I'll have to see when I'm actually going to be doing my next po uh, poll for uh, what I'm going to be doing. All right, mailbox. Let's see, what are the odds? This, oh, this is going to be perfect. You know, honestly, it's so easy to make a mailbox. I'm really surprised no one has. Especially the amount of, like, cities and stuff people have made. So this is definitely going to go on the workshop. I do think I want to give it a little bit of height. So maybe we'll throw in, that might be too tall. Honestly, it might be better to just stack them like this. How has no one made a mailbox if the primitive pieces are, like, so perfect for it? 
It's actually kind of baffling to me. Because I often make fun of the, you know, primitive pieces and like, oh my god, no one's going to use these for whatever. Nope, these, these work very well for a mailbox. Move it one more over. And now we have to make the little flag. Go buy yourself an awful awful. <laughs> Wait a minute, are you also from Rhode Island? Yeah, I was like, are you also from Rhode Island? Because, like, there's a lot of, like, honestly, I, I often, like, say this. Because um, I wanted to do a meetup at Roger Williams after coronavirus is over. Everyone, and everyone's told me no one's going to come to that. I found a lot of people from at least New England, and lately specifically Rhode Island, that could make it to them. I think that meetup at this point could easily have maybe 15 people. <laughs> like, I'm very surprised about that. Because, yeah, I wasn't expecting literally anyone else to be from Rhode Island, let alone, like, the amount of people. Born and raised, yep. That's crazy. Then, yeah, like, after coronavirus, I think I really will do some sort of Roger Williams meetup. We could just storm them and then have the uh, zoo director come out and be like, what the hell is everyone doing here? Oh, they're here for some kind of YouTube party? <laughs> still live here. Yeah, it, That's been a saying I've heard since I was a kid. It was something along the lines of like, you know, um, when you're uh, when you're from Rhode Island, you're born here and you die here and you complain about it the entire time. <laughs> like, no one leaves Rhode Island. It's like a curse. And we're the only ones like that. Like, every other state, like, you know, people, like, bounce around a lot. And, like, you know, there's a, a lot of people that move around. In Rhode Island, though, I know so many people where, like, even if they, like, went to school out of state, they just come back to Rhode Island. And it's weird because, like, there's not a lot here. There's really not much. And yet everyone, you know, still lives here. I can't come even though I'm a true New Englander. <laughs> We can all go down to Gansett and get some clam chowder and clam cakes. Yeah, yeah, you're not a you're not a true Rhode Islander unless you're an Alan Sean Feinstein Jr. scholar. I love you kids very much. If you see me on the side of the road, you come up to me with a hug, a handshake, or a kiss. <laughs> see you later, alligator. <laughs> You better like white clam chat. Yeah, of course I do. I'm not really a fan of like the the like Connecticut style or like. No, I'm sa the uh like normal New England clam chowder that's clear. Yeah, like it's 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 white white chowder or nothing like. Yeah, that's the that's the way to go. Um. I'm using the eel grass as some plants. Connecticut is weird. <laughs> yeah. I'll definitely agree to that. Connecticut is very weird. I think even people, like, I, I, uh, when I worked in Connecticut, that was even a thing. Like, even the people who live in Connecticut, like, kind of separate themselves. Because Connecticut is very weird to where you're either a discount New Yorker or a discount, uh, mass hole. Because, like, um, you either live on the Connecticut side, the Rhode Island side, or the uh, Massachusetts side. Or, uh, sorry, the, the, the Rhode Island side, Massachusetts side, or New York side. And so no matter what, you usually identify with one of them. Because where I were, I worked in Hartford. And um, that was, like, a whole thing where, like, uh, it was about a 50-50 split between Red Sox fans and Yankees fans. I was the outlier because I'm a Yankees fan, even though I live in Rhode Island. Yeah, that's a sin. Yeah, I mean, it's whatever. We're Yankees fans in my household. 
There are no straws in your Dells. Of course there's not. If you drink... It, the people who drink Dells with a straw, that's an issue. Yeah, I know. Out, out, people out of state drink Dells with straws. Go, go socks. <laughs> go down to Jordan's furniture and get. If the socks win the, if the socks win the World Series, you get a free thing. You get a free furniture set or whatever. Isn't that like a thing that Jordan's does? We're just gonna do a a, a full on new, like New England episode one one of these days. I make it the most New England thing ever. Let's go get our coffee milk, go down to the store, grab a carriage, go down to Cumbies. We have to stop at Dunkin', of course, because Cum uh, Cum Cumbies makes great food, but their actual coffee sucks. <laughs> go Patriot, go Pats. Tom Brady is a traitor. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, like, what else is there? <laughs> Yeah, no. Oh, the real shame was when the uh, the uh, paw socks left. Like, they, uh... Because, yeah. We, the, the only thing that we actually had as a dedicated, like, Rhode Island team was, like, the paw socks, and even they're gone now. Like, I guess, I guess you could, like, you know, like, you go see, like, the Providence Bruins or something, but, like, that doesn't really count because it's, like, you know, college... You should make Slater Park. Slater Park. Is that near Slatersville? No. Because <laughs> I was like, I don't even know where that is. I don't really know many parks in Rhode Island. There's the one in Johnston. There's the one, obviously, Roger Williams Park. And then the ones by the beaches. But though I don't even count those as parks. Roger Williams Zoo do... Roger Williams Zoo have otters. Yes, they have two otters. They have river otter, uh, North American river otters and giant otters. Let's just add some flowers. Yep. I, I, I was hoping I wouldn't have to do this, but I'm definitely going to have to cover up this entire area in um, uh, pathing. I was hoping I wouldn't have to, but it's definitely seeming like it. Was an old zoo in Pawtucket. You have to do your research. Look up Fanny the Elephant. That, that must have been an old park then if I had no idea what it was. How like it, how old are we talking? Is it like literally like something like, oh, back in the sixties there was like, <laughs> you know, if you if you go down to uh oh you should go recreate um, what's it called Rock, uh, what's the uh old Rocky Point? Yeah, go oh go recreate Rocky Point. Because the other thing is, obviously, I'm only only hoofstock at Roger Williams or Pronghorn and Muntjac. Well, d d technically, you know, there's zebras, wildebeest, and Watusi, and Outad, and <laughs> giraffes and stuff, but... And Talkin. There's actually quite a bit of hoofstock. <laughs> yeah, well, so Talkin, zebra, wildebeest, Outad, giraffe... Talking, I think I, I think that uh, we had camels. They're gone now. Yeah, and we had camels, but they're obviously all gone now. But yeah, we definitely have quite a bit of hoofstock. Um, we just don't have a lot of like just uh, regular like deer species or anything like that. Of the deer species we have, we exclusively have just the, like, pronghorns, and that's really it. And then antelope-wise, we only have wildebeest. But we have Takin, and 
Audads to represent goat. We have zebras to represent horses. Watusi for cows. And then giraffes. Um... Because what I was saying about the Impala earlier was that I would be... Or did I say Impala? Because I think I think I it might, I might have said Impala. I meant Springbuck. Um, I might have just... That must have just been a slip up or something that I messed up. But I meant I'd use the Springbuck to make the um, Reeves Muntjack. <coughs> Coffin. Rona. I hope I don't have Rona. That'd be unfortunate. Hey guys, can't stream today. Got the Rona. Alright. Farm stand. Let's make the farm stand. Whatever that means. I love you, Nick. You look handsome. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it, Wesley. <laughs> Corrugated metal. Alright, so this is going to be another one of those weird... They have the, these things all over the farm. I don't know why. They have, like, all these, like, random little, like, pop-up areas. Honestly, this is another kit. I think I'm literally just going to copy the, uh, the corn stand I made. <laughs> They have literally, like, just duplicates of all of this. Now I gotta... Yeah, I know. I, I was gonna say that. Like, I, I knew that that would happen. Is, uh, Drew was gonna start streaming at 2 o'clock. Um, and I'll probably, like, uh, hop over there, um, when I'm done streaming as well. Because I, I am interested in how everything is going with Beyond Drew Park. Or Beyond Wolf Park. I want to make sure that, you know, what I helped with yesterday was actually going to be good. Love your stream so much. Thank you very much, Lovro. Lovro. Poor Nick, 28 viewers. No, that's not even that bad. I'll be honest. 28 is a lot better than, you know, what I'd totally be expecting. 28 with an active chat, honestly, totally fine with me. Maybe I do have Corona. No. I hope not. I, hope not. I want to go to the zoo tomorrow. But if I get Corona, then no zoo for me. I'm building the Psycho Mansion. Need some props. I don't know what the Psycho Mansion is. Uh, any chance of getting some crow props? Um, I will think about it. Because crow props maybe could be something I could do. Because I, I think I, I do want to make some, uh, I want to make like an ambient animal pack or something that, you know, has a, a lot of different ambient animals that I think are common in uh, not just zoos, but just normal, like, cities and stuff. So pigeons, uh, squirrels, seagulls, that sort of thing. Just stuff you find literally everywhere. Alright. So, we're gonna use the alphabet to write the farm stand. So... Uh, probably want these, yeah. So give me a sec. Let's write farm stand, and we're going to try to fit it all as close as I can. 
farm R R ah not R. A lot of people say like I don't even have a New England accent because like I pronounce my R's. Ah, farm stand, not a farm, a farm, a farm. I don't even know what a farm stand means either in this context because it's like, all right. Farm stand. All right. Why is the seal in the beaver mod cursed? Uh, well, it's very simple. They use the bear rig. <laughs> That's the easiest way to explain them. Why do they look cursed? Um, the bear rig. And uh, both relative could be far more cursed. Because, um, and especially if you're talking about my old seal mod, that is the reason it's cursed is because it's using the bear rig. The new seal mod that I made, the, the new updated harbor seal, should be totally fine just because it's now using the um, uh, actual, you know, seal mod or uh, seal texture. Gotta go, but I'll be back later. Yep. Uh, take care, Maria. Um, you've never seen Psycho or Bates Motel? You know, I haven't. I mean, now that you mentioned Bates Motel, what'd you say? <coughs> I just haven't seen it. All right, we are going to add this sign into place. Gotta go too. We'll see you, Jay. Thanks for dropping by. Uh, what are the giraffes' names? Good question. They are all kind of African theme. I know one of them was Jaffa. One of them's like Sakari. I believe. Um, God, I just, I forget their names. I have I have them somewhere. We we are comprising a list on my server of all the animal names at the zoo. Um, but yeah, I'm I honestly am not quite sure about the giraffes off the top of my head. I am pretty sure that it's Sukari and Jaff uh, Jaffa for two of them though. So, that's at least two of them, but I think we have four, so. Oh, the bear rig. Seal is 18% cursed. Beaver is 99% cursed. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to work on it. I, I literally told them right out, hey, by the way, um, this beaver is cursed. Um, Because I was very hesitant to make it, but they were like, please, you know, you can do it. And I'm like, okay, I'll see. I'll use the bear rig. It's cursed looking. We just don't have a rodent to go off of. So like everything that uses the, you know, bear rig obviously is going to look cursed. So unless we get a beaver or capybara or something along those lines in the game, uh, expect a lot of cursed rodent mods and stuff. <laughs> Because I think I threw it out there, like, um, maybe when we get the American pack, we will get a beaver. But I am not holding my breath just yet, so. But we are almost done with the farmyard. I do want to do the bunny habitat quick. Because uh, the chicken coop has nothing to it, really, but the bunny habitat has, like, a couple of, like, little... Uh, climbing frame areas and stuff like that that I wanted to 
maybe do. What even is here? Oh, there's like a cash register. Why is there a cash register? <laughs> And on this side is some sort of cabinet. I hope the American pack comes with a Puma Mountain Lion Cougar. Yep. Yeah. Um, it is the only other big cat other than like a leopard that we don't have. So I suppose that, you know, wouldn't be a bad pick. I think I could live without it personally just because, you know, it, it like, I don't know. I would just, at this point, I would just much prefer truly custom animals than um, just kind of like retreads of existing animals that we already have. And since we already have the existing animals like that, I'm, I'm all set, at least. What is your favorite hybrid animal? I guess Ligers are pretty cool. I know they're, you know... Not good for the cats, but, you know, I think ligers are objectively cool looking. So probably ligers. I think that's probably the safest bet. Jaffa, Tufani, Sakari, and Korra. There you go. Thank you, Sawdust. So those are the giraffe names. But I was right about two of them, so... If you do enough digging on their, like, Instagram and stuff, you, they usually reveal all the animal names. So, if you ever needed, like, something like that, um, they usually are pretty good about giving those things out. Um, I'm looking for, like, there's, like, a scale on this table, and I'm trying to think of, like, what pack something like that might exist in. Uh, this is ki this kind of works, actually. I know it's a light, but it kind of works. Yeah. Like... Yeah, I'm fine with that being the scale. That, that looks about right. Uh, cash register. I believe someone on the workshops had to have made a cash register, right? Obviously. Thank you. Er, I think I like the one by Franz. Franz instead. What's even happening anymore? Uh, Nick, will you ever do a Samachin Rhino mod? Uh, maybe. I'm already working on the black and the white rhino mod currently, so working on that on top of it, we'll have to see. There we go. A little cash register. And now the only thing left I need to do here is the... Um, I don't even know what you call this thing. It's like some sort of cabinet or something. So, East Asia. P. East Asian painted timber. I always call them East Asian peas, though. Because that's the only thing I ever type in to get them to be pulled up. Alright. So, we will do that. Grab this, do this, excellent, rotate this into place, and then let me look at my reference photo. So I guess this is against the wall, so we can just do it like that. It's like a little cubby. So we can just move this into place now. And we should be good. So 
I don't think I will be able to get to that building on time. Um, in the, you know, we only have about a half hour left. So I may start the building, but I think I'll, I will finish it off camera. Just because I think by next episode, I really do want to, um, or at least next live stream, I want to start working on, like, something else. I don't want to make, oh, back at the, back at the barnyard or something. Like, we've done the barnyard for three streams now. I think it's time to move on to bigger and better things. So I think... We will try to start that building today, but if not, I will just do it off camera and we can maybe start Face of the Rainforest next week, which that'll be fun. Um, it won't be fun. It'll be hell, but we will do it regardless because we've come this far with the series. I will. I am literally willing to do just about anything. <laughs> so let's see. Register's cool. Workshop, yes. So the register uh, was off the workshop. That's a big basket. That's also a big basket. Um, let's see. I just need some crap to throw in these little cubbies. Crate. Just little things like this. Emu mod, please. Uh, I may do an emu. I'll have to see about that. 33 watching, only 28 likes. I see an issue. <laughs> Who's not liking? I don't even care. Like, I mean, if people don't want to like the video, I, I, don't, I don't even really, like, promote that stuff myself. So if, you know, I, I'm not even, like, you know, like, begging for likes. Honestly, it's okay if people don't like the video or anything. Don't dislike the video, but you don't have to like it. I'm okay if you don't. Alright, so let's do this. We'll do a little dab like that. We need to add a couple more rocks and plants. And then we will be good to do the bunny. And then we should be good with the farm in general. Because we'll have done everything by that point. So just a couple of little... Little rocks. I actually want to know. I want to use the faux rocks. I love using this technique where, like, you just take uh, the big faux rocks, sink them in the ground, and then, like, there you go. Now you just have a couple, like, little um, rocks just, just lying about and stuff that you can just place around. And then you can just get some more plants. Uh, bush. What? What? We need more bush types. Arrowwood just doesn't really do it for me. It's just kind of like... A lot of people love it. I think it looks gross. I think bramble looks fine, but like the biggest technique... I, I just use trees. Because like I think most of the actual bushes in the uh, game currently aren't the best. So let's see... There's also like a little sign that I need to throw in. But yeah, like this is just always better, just doing this. I wanna know what's weird. Yeah, I wanted like a like a bird's nest plant. Just because like they have a couple like little leaves poking out. We need more sticks. We need more yeah. Honestly, like and we need really tall trees. I think like that's my biggest want for the game is really tall trees. Cause the current trees in the game just aren't big enough. They're just, they don't, you know, that's, just, they're, just, they're just not big enough. <laughs> like, the Brazil nut and the Kapok are the only two that are, like, genuinely large trees. The rest are just kind of small. Um, let's see, let's see. Wait, can I not change the color of the... Oh, that stinks. I want like a big, tall, standing up sign. But I guess those don't really exist. Or standing signs. But yeah, I guess I am right. They don't really exist. <laughs> we just need a big, 
glorified square, essentially. So, primitives. Yeah, honestly, something like this will work just fine. <laughs> I don't want that one specifically, maybe one size down. Do this, and then select this one. Just need a little sign. And then we could decorate the back. Donkey! Donkey! What are you doing in my swamp? Um, and yeah. That should be good. Is it worth going to Roger Williams Park Zoo? I'm asking as someone who lives in a different state. What state? Because, <laughs> like I said earlier, like I answered this earlier, but I was like, uh, depends on the um, state you live in. If you live in like Massachusetts, yes. Furthest I would recommend going: New Hampshire in the north and New York in the south. Uh, past that, definitely, probably not worth your time. It's an it's a it's an objectively a nice zoo, but um, uh no so sorry Lovro I can't show it off right now, cause I don't actually have it yet. So Maine, mm, maybe if, in Maine I could see, if you're on like the southern tip of Maine, I could see cause like the closest you think you guys have is like. What, York's Wild Kingdom, right? Uh, so, which is basically like Southwick's, but more of a theme park. So, I would recommend Roger Williams. Like, if, if you're willing to make the drive. Because I know it's, it's a big drive, obviously. I've been to Maine, like, uh, a bunch of times. Um, but I understand, like, if you w wouldn't want to go for that reason. Because it is, it is a bit of a trek. I do like your zoo neck. Thank you. So this is going to be a sign, but it's going to be a very boring sign. I have no idea what's even on it. It's just generic text. So we're not really going to focus too much on the specifics of said text. I'm trying to like see what else. There's something on the sign. I just can't really make it out. Oh, it's like a person. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's definitely something I don't really want to make. I'm fine with it just being like that for now. All right. So let's go make the bunny thing. Beardsley. Yeah, I wanted to go to Beardsley when I was in Connecticut. I hear it's a nice zoo. It's just kind of small for me, for my liking, because the only thing they really have are the tigers and leopards. But, um, I don't know, I might check it out. So in the bunny habitat, they have this thing. They have a little bunny, bunny house. Cute little bunny house. And then they have a couple of little toys and stuff that I can throw in here. It's a lot of like little twigs. They have a lot of like little dead tree branches and stuff in their habitat, weirdly enough. Wait, there's no donkey? Uh, there's There will be a donkey. It's just not available right now. It, that that mod is still a work in progress. 
And so once the final episode of this uh, build goes up on YouTube, you'll see the donkey then. For those who want to see it. So just give it some time, but you will see the donkey. And probably we'll have it up by download by then. Because I have a donkey, I have the alpacas, obviously, that I showed off the last few streams. I'm going to have a goat mod by then. And then we'll see. I may, I may if I'm feeling up for it, do the, um, what's it called? I may do something like the bunnies or chicken, but don't hold your breath on that one. You should do an Emperor Penguin mod. Yeah, I was going to, because um, that was one of the votes for um, my uh, uh, Lion Rider members. Uh, they had to, the chance to vote, and not a single person voted for the um, Emperor Penguin. Everyone voted either Maned Wolf, Black Buck, or Striped Hyena. No one wanted the actual thing, so... There we go. That's cool. Nice little roller item. Love you. Oh. All right. So last thing I need to do now that we've done the bunnies, we've done everything, is just touch up these fences along the sides. And then we will be good with the farmyard, which questionably will bring us to the end of the stream. So maybe I won't even start the building today because I won't be making a dent in it at all. <laughs> um, so I might just do that off camera. And then we will see. We will go from there. Did y'all know that Battlefront 2 is free on Epic today? Really? That's actually kind of cool. I wanted to play Battlefront 2. I liked Battlefront 1, I just never played Battlefront 2. So I might try that out. Thank you for the heads up. I'm not even a big Star Wars fan, but yeah, I, I did like Battlefront 1. Uh, this fence is a little messed up. There we go. Oh, this was the other thing that I needed to do that I forgot to do originally. Make the other fence barriers. There we go. So like I said, this is the bunny habitat. Other side is the chicken coop. Or chicken habitat, I guess. There's not really a chicken coop. Do that. And then we can do that, and then do that. And then, frankly, these should be flipped. Actually, no. So top one can be fine. That 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 one's fine the way it is. The middle one I want flipped. Yeah, I don't want it like that. And all right, that is good. Now to do the other side. Oh God, Technoblade is streaming. Viewer count on the stream. Go brb be ergo burr. 
I don't even know what Technoblade does. Isn't he like a Minecraft streamer? I, don't, I, I, I have no idea who Technoblade even is. <laughs> But like I said, I don't even care if... I mean, viewership doesn't seem to drop. It actually seems to have been pretty consistent all stream. Everyone keeps saying that. They, they like to go like, Oh boy, stream's gonna go down now that a blank happens. No one let, leaves, though, that I can tell. I, I, I'm pretty consistent with my viewership, I'll be completely honest. Even, like, analytically, if I look at my graph, it looks um, very like, straight overall. Like, I'm not seeing any major drops at all. It's just kind of pretty consistent. Up, down, up, down, up, down. And so, as a nice two-hour stream, because like I said, I'm probably going to be dropping off in about 15 minutes. Um, this has been a, a pretty solid stream. Like I said, I've been loving these streams. I might start upping my stream schedule to more than twice a week. Um, just because I've been enjoying streaming and it gives me like a little incentive to like actually do stuff. But yeah, that is the Roger Williams Barnyard. So sweet. So I guess the, the last thing I just want to do quickly is add in, there's some flowers on the, uh, the little porch here. Um... So, let's see. I don't know why we don't have any, like, regular pots. Like, I don't know why all the all the, the pots in the game are, like, random giant pots and stuff. And I forgot that these flowers are still coral. My, my go-to flowers usually are currently coral because I have my, um... What's it called? Uh, aquatic Pack mod installed. <laughs> so all of my uh, current things are going to be, at least right now, coral. So let's just use some other flowers. Just that <laughs> that isn't an issue. And that, that looks good. That looks good. And then we can just add some normal little plants to this final area, and then we are good. Maybe a berry bush. A little berry bush in the corner there. Maybe not bracken. What do I want? Let's see. I'm trying to find a good foliage type here. Plants are so oversized. Yeah, I definitely agree. Like, if you want to, like, little plants in the game, there's not a ton of options. They're all just massive. So you usually have to be, like, kind of... sneaky about where you're adding plants. So as an example, like, to add, like, a little thing there, I had to move that out of the way. Um... Oh, yeah. This is what I wanted to do. I guess the last thing I can do to just finish this area off is add in the uh, rest of this pathway. I was trying to avoid it if possible, but it definitely looks like I'm going to need to. just to cover up some of the stuff that was kind of irking me. Could probably cover that. Actually, that kind of works. That's kind of nice, actually. Let's do this for now. Gotta sink it a little bit so that it doesn't clip. 
and then just kind of duplicated a bunch along the sides of the wall here. And then I will try my best to cover up the outside so that you can't really see it poking through and stuff. But obviously, you know, these are just the little issues with the game and the path system in general that aren't fun to deal with. So I can do that, and then if I do that, and then just because this is bothering me, we'll do that. Cool. I'm fine with that. That looks pretty good. So that is the farmyard all done. So let's just try to maybe clean up the end or the the entrance leading up to the farm. Because luckily it's mostly just trees. <laughs> So we can probably add some Brazil nuts since Brazil nuts, I like, I, I know they're not supposed to be used in temperate environments and stuff, but I like to use them often as kind of substitutes for really tall pine trees. Just since we don't really have any um, things like that in the game. I, they, they just work as a really good substitute for me. Gotta throw on these Douglas firs. Where is my polar bear diving? I love polar bears. I love polar bears too. I, w I do wish polar bears could dive. I tried getting diving working for animals without diveable abilities, but it just wasn't working out for me, unfortunately. Uh, spruce. The spruce goose. Birch. Me and the boys love foliage. All the foliage. So this path leading uh, to the barnyard technically uh, doesn't have uh, most of this uh, crazy hill thing going on. That is literally just because um, I messed up somewhere along the lines. I I'm not sure where exactly. Somewhere along the lines, my, my stuff got messed up um, terraforming-wise. So this area is a little bit off realism. All right, I'm going to head out. We'll see you, Totter. Uh, thank you for dropping by. Thank you for always being a member. And uh, I will see you around. Thank you very much. And like I said, I'm probably going to be heading out myself in about five minutes, so, you know, you're not missing much. Because <laughs> I want to go head to Drew's stream and uh, go check out what cool stuff he's working on. There we go. Okay. We are, we are looking good. Very good indeed. So... That looks good. We are almost done with Roger Williams now. So now we really only have to do Faces of the Rainforest and the Wetlands Trail. And that is it. And then we have done literally everything in the entire park. <laughs> so I think next week, because maybe I'll even do the Wetlands off camera, just because I just wanted to like get that done. Um, but next week, we will start on Faces of the Rainforest. So I will probably start working on the main building and stuff, and then we can try to get that all squared away. But we are looking good. The park is definitely fleshed out now. Let me just save quick. Just because that would be very bad if I didn't. So let's save that out. Uh, Want to add the animals. I can try to add the animals. 
I can try. I can at least try to add the alpacas. Um, but I think this is technically what, you know, busted my game last time. But we will try it. Just because we have a few extra minutes and if the stream were to abruptly end, so be it, <laughs> you know? <laughs> we, like, we've already saved the park, everything's good, we're not worried about crashing at this point. So yes, I can try to at least add in the alpacas. And uh, the pig, I don't even have anymore because... Uh, it, oh, which, by the way, I will mention that. In the final product of uh, Roger Williams, when I release this to the public, uh, the pig will not be available in the actual map. Just because the pig is currently using the uh, same slot as the Babarusa, and I wanted to make sure the Babarusa were obviously in the game uh, more than the uh, guinea hog. So... Guinea Hog won't be in the final cut. It'll be in the video, the episode. Um, you can look at that, and it'll be available as a mod. Um, just in the final Roger Williams build, it will be unavailable. All right. It's all connected. We have a habitat now. Hopefully it doesn't crash. Just for the sake of right now, I'm also going to go down to low settings. Um, just in case it gets laggy. Would you ever play Among Us? Um, maybe. I think I, I might join uh, Drew and Estan. I think they were talking about playing Among Us sometime. So I might try joining one of their games. Maybe on one of their streams. I don't know if I'll play it myself, though. Wow, the game just looks horrible <laughs> when you do this. All right. So let's get some alpacas. So we need two tan alpacas and one black alpaca. So let's see if we can try to do that. And we need females only. So tan. Excellent. Cool. That worked out very well. So, um, give me a sec. What is wrong? Why is it not? What's wrong with the habitat? Fix incomplete. What is the issue with this habitat? Oh, I don't know why it tried connecting there instead of here. Weird. Uh, the fence system's very laggy. This is what I was fearing. I think they said they were playing today. That I might, I might join them today, so I might play with them later on. Okay. Yep, and this is not looking good. Ugh, the fence system is just so laggy. <laughs> is it broken? I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know myself. I know it's frozen right now for me, but I can't tell. It's always when I try to add in the animals live. That's why I think, like, put it this way. Next stream, the animals will already be placed in the habitat, so it should be fine. It's just, okay, hold on. So let's try this. So I want a gate there, and then I want this to connect there. If I select this, that is a whole habitat. There should be no issues now. So let's add this llama. Okay, good. 
animals or animal trading. Uh, I don't want these llamas, so we're going to get rid of them. Uh, black, perfect. Chocolate brown, I'll take it. Those two llamas, totally fine. Chocolate brown, tan, and black. That is exactly what I want. So, uh, and just to make things even easier, we're going to place a trade center here and a couple more vets. And they should literally just, you know, try to drop it off with the nearest trade center, which should be this one. So here we go. We're going to get some staff. We're going to get a couple of vets. One, two, and three. And we're going to hit play, and then they're going to go and drop off our alpacas. Well done. You hit two hours. So like I said, we're going to hit play, and then, you know, we can check out the alpacas quick, and then... I will be heading off for the day. Save the game before it crashes. Well, I already did. So the game, uh, all the progress we made today is already saved. So I'm not really concerned about that. Um, it might take a second because the game is going to try to do everything all at once. Every time I place that on an exhibit, I place a trade center, then I do it so that... Yeah, exactly. Like, I wish it was like Zoo Tycoon, where I could literally just place the animals directly into the habitat without even needing a trade center or careta like caretakers, but I'll have to see. Will you put this on the Steam Workshop? I will once the actual zoo is done. So once the zoo is completely up and running, I will put this on the Workshop for the public. Up, oh, okay. I see them running. I I don't know why they're running. Animal trading. Okay. Okay. So it says they're gone. Were they already placed? Where are my alpacas? Did they escape or something? I don't. I, I didn't think they were placed though. I didn't see them being placed. Uh, animal escaped. Oh, they did escape. Okay. I didn't even see them get placed though. Oh wait, never mind. Yeah, I don't know why they do this. This is like a weird glitch I found. Uh, animals that aren't even, they're not escaped, but they'll like literally just like end up over here at this weird trade center. I never quite understood that. It'll say they're escaped even though they're not. So yes. Yes. Put them in this habitat. There's no reason why they should even need to move. <laughs> they should just literally go... Like, I don't know why they just go to this trade center. Okay. We should... Yep. Okay. Excellent. What are you doing? Weird way to go around. But, okay. They're in. Right? There we go. Excellent. It looks like a llama right now. But now it looks like an alpaca. Excellent. There you go. But let's see if they can escape, actually. Because they might be able to. Because I don't know. Nope. They're good. Yeah, I had a fit. Because I know someone like threw out that idea the other day. Like, oh, well, they might escape. Because it's not a big thing. But yeah, um, I knew this would be a thing. So yep, here's one of our alpacas. There we go. Look at the alpaca. Look at how fluffy. Aren't they nice and cute? 
they're a bit big. I want to I want to shrink them down in the final mod. And obviously, the other thing with the mod is if you zoom out enough, it turns into a llama. So, but we should get a couple more alpacas in here, and then I will be done with this episode. So let's drop off this one. Which one's this one? This is the black one or the chocolate one? This one is black. Look at the alpacas. Look at how cute they are. Like I said, the uh, the pig, the donkey, the, uh, the goats and sheep and stuff, they're all going to be coming. They're just not available quite yet. So um, I can at least get the alpacas in to show you guys. But, you know, past that, that's all I have right now at least. But thank you guys for watching. Hold on, we'll wait till the last one gets dropped off. There we go. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. And uh, I will see you on Tuesday where we can start Faces of the Rainforest. So thank you everyone, and I will see you on Tuesday. Bye everyone.